Still Roots and Revive. In case you are just joining us, and I have not missed too much because this is the most interesting part of the program. Now, we are going to be treating an important topic, which is the spiritual and the physical approach to the Christian wellness. We are, talk we are going to be talking about the health of the Christian. All right. So, now, over the years, we have, been, we have heard about teachings misconceptions assumptions conclusion concerning how a christian should you know the response to a christian to ease or our health now today we are going to be having a guest that will be you know giving us through the holy spirit clarity concerning what how a christian should approach ease or our health now we have we have had questions over the years like is um should a christian use um should a christian undergo surgery is cesarean session is it a sin should a christian just pray when when he or she is having a um, health challenge or you should actually seek medical help so through the help of the holy spirit we are going to be you know bringing clarity to these questions and many more so you want to sit back relax and enjoy all that god will be will, you know be giving to us through our guests here and of course pastor victor all right so today we have the person of James Stephen Onivehu. You are welcome, sir. Thank you. So he is a registered nurse. R N R E N R P O N and so on and so forth. I'm sorry, I can't really because all this medical this thing they are so ah. In fact, would you mind breaking down these titles for us? Because I won't lie to you. I forgot almost that <laughs> I, I, I was I know they are uh, <laughs> registered endoscopy. Endoscopy. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't want to bite my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> so do let's. Right, thank you so much for having me. All right. Thank you, man, of course. Uh, you're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you for being there, wonderful listeners out there. Mm -hmm. so what you are talking about. Okay. <laughs> yes. Us, okay. Registered endoscopy nurse, then Aropon, registered uh, perioperative. Nurse. Hey, Jesus so Christ. You can also call that operating room manager. Okay. Okay. So okay. They just, uh, what those ones are mean. They are simple. They are simple because <laughs> they, are, they are in the field. <laughs> and I think there, you are, also there is this BS. Um, yeah, that's bachelor in nursing. Okay, in bachelor in nursing mm. in view. Yes. Mm. 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 Ah, ah. Mm. It is well. It is well. <laughs> All right, let's get to the business of the day. Okay. Uh, let, let me let me just start. Something something dropped in my heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spirituality and the Christian's well-being as touching his body, health, and all of that. Is there any connection? What I mean by spirituality now, you know, we I used to be of the opinion that if you are spiritual enough and you are very close to God. Uh, that should automatically fix your health but at some point i had some challenges in my body that god brought to my attention and he actually gave me some instructions my to me he gave me some instructions that i should follow to fix that health and these instructions had you know had to do with taking going for some medications and it come it, it then i felt that it contradicted my belief so so far prior to that time so do, would you say there is connection between spiritual well-being and physical, physical well-being well do they have anything to thank you so much of course mm -hmm. there is a connection you understand okay. so okay. one cannot be isolated from the other you okay. understand okay. if you talk about spiritual well-being okay. you must also look about uh, at the physical well-being as well okay. you understand? Okay. because you discover that it is when you are physically uh, healthy All right. okay. you understand? it is when you are physically healthy you will be able to do the things of the spirit, spirit. you understand mm. okay. now the spirit needs the body, body. just like the body needs the, the spirit. spirit you understand mm. Mm. and of course the body houses the spirit mm. now mm. if the body becomes defaulted you see that at the end of the day, the spirit itself will we'll be having some issues. Mm, and true, very issues. true, so very true. Those are the connections that you can speak that okay. one cannot mm. be isolated from, from, from the other. Mm, 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 mm. Very true. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, in fact, I'm really feeling. Mm. <laughs> right? I'm happy you are here. But I can confirm this because you know times when I get bitten by mosquitoes, and you know, I, and. I, 
for moving on, I, you know, I get, I tend to get malaria. Mm -hmm. I'm not able to read well, and I'm not able to read the assimilate. Bible. Yes, I'm not able to meditate because I cannot assimilate. I can't even do anything properly because mm -hmm. the malaria now is affecting my spiritual, the, is my spiritual mm -hmm. life. So, just like you said, you're very correct. Just like the, the body needs the spirit, and the spirit needs the body as well. Mm -hmm. So, because um, I was having malaria, I cannot function well. I can't even pray well. Mm. I sleep too much mm. during those periods. So I can actually confirm that from a personal experience. Mm. So now let's even go to the roots now, the origin. Talking about medicine and sickness. What is the origin of sickness and what is the origin of medicine? Yeah, thank you so much. Um, take it from a perspective when God created uh, the earth. Okay. You understand? You discover that as God created Adam, mm. there was no sickness. Mm. Adam and Eve. Sure. There was no sickness. God created uh, the Garden of Eden. Mm. Mm -hmm. And He said, All the things there, the fruits, the herbs have given unto you, except one. One. Mm. Mm. You that, the day that one was the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and the day you ate the error, what will happen? Mm. Shall die. Shall die. Shall die. Mm. You understand? Mm. Mm. And if you talk about that death, you it, just it, it, eat it's process, you understand? Yeah. It's not as though as you take it, you just yeah, yeah, that yeah. at once, do you understand? Yeah. So yeah. it's gradually, gradually, just like we say that before somebody who completely die in the spirit realm, it must have taken so yes. Yes. Yeah. Sure. So gradually it will be deteriorating mm. before you know the person will be done, you understand? So God wasn't like, he didn't plan that sickness should be bad. Or mm. the you understand. Mm -hmm. But what happened? When Adam and Eve fell, mm. you could see that all those because let's come to this. They were naked. Mm. They were not aware. You Excellent. understand? Mm -hmm. Now, probably it will rain, it will drain the, the rain will just drench them. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Whatever whatever tongues or whatever they were friendly with all the animals and mm -hmm. insects mm -hmm. around. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because that's the original plan mm -hmm. of God. But now mosquitoes hate us so much. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I know what that's how you got everything. Exactly. Mosquitoes, they were friendly with mosquitoes. Right, yes, but now yes. mosquitoes now won't bite mosquitoes, they are gone. Oh very true. So you could mm -hmm. see that after the that man fell, mm -hmm. then illness begin to associate with man. You understand? Mm. And not only that, you will see that there are some that man created by his or her own self. Mm. You understand? Mm. Not just that it is God that wants you to know. Though we also know that in the spiritual aspects, there mm. are sicknesses that God wants you to punish an individual mm. yes. as a result of rebellious attitude. You mm. understand? Mm. The one we call sin. Mm. You understand? So that's the perspective. Paul, Paul talks about uh, uh, people eating communion on yes. That's why you fall sick yes. and even mm. die. Yes. Mm. 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 Something like so that. So with the other, you, you could see that the first sickness mentioned in the Bible was that the plague with Pharaoh yes. mm. and his household. Mm -hmm. You understand? What happened? They disobeyed God. Mm. And God had to cause that. Mm. For them to uh, take corrections, mm. but instead they still didn't learn. You understand? Mm. So that's that. But so, in other words, yes. there are causes that there, there are sicknesses, illness yes. uh, that came down to humanity. Yes. You know, to humanity when Adam and Eve fell, yes. and there are causes that would come due to an individual sin in himself. So for instance, uh, fornication and adultery, yes. you know, some other sins like that could mm. bring about such sicknesses. Yes. Okay. Mm. All right, so just in um just to talk about to touch this brief touch this briefly mm -hmm. because I was going to ask the question that has it always been part of God's will for us to fall ill at, ill at some point? Mm -hmm. But from what you have said so far, you have said now that it that it was never part of God's plan for us to be healed. Just like we read from the Bible that Adam and Eve were friendly with the animals and everything in the Garden of Eden and they were healthy. And there was no record of sickness until man began to commit sin and all these things began, began to turn all around. So, you have answered my next okay. question. Okay. So, when a Christian falls sick, what should be his first approach? We have heard 
that oh, when when you fall sick, uh, some of you you just start praying mm. instead of you to go and test yourselves and be sure of what you're dealing with. You will just be praying. And we have also heard that some of you, when you fall sick, the first thing you think of is to go and look for a doctor. Mm. That goes to strike the balance, the place of faith, the place of faith, and, and the place of medical, medical knowledge, yes, and yes, not, you yes. Know, dealing with ignorance mm -hmm. now. Because I've also heard cases where people actually fell sick or had mm -hmm. serious illness and they died. And, they died. and some actually had faith and mm -hmm. they were healed. Mm -hmm. So, can you just, you know, tell us about the place of faith in this, you know, yes, and the place of, of medical assistance, yes, assistance. medical yes. help, yes. Thank you so much. Uh, just like I've said before, that there are some sicknesses that we brought upon ourselves so, you yeah. understand mm -hmm. okay like for example do not fornicate mm -hmm. then you go out there and fornicate mm -hmm. at the end of the day such person comes up with infection mm -hmm. you understand these <laughs> are okay. things that you, you have brought upon, upon himself so oh, yes. you understand mm -hmm. so those are a perspective that we should first of all look at now mm -hmm. talking about faith and uh the physical the life the medical, the medical, medical health, yes yes now, if you look at James chapter 5, it mm. talks about do you fall sick, you should go to the elders to pray, pray for, for you and pray out you. faith. You yeah. understand? Mm. We what? Heal you. the sick. You mm. understand? Mm. So, this is to tell us that there are some sicknesses that faith will fit. just like you said in the introductory phase. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. You said God told you mm. that you should take care of your body. Lord you understand? Mm -hmm. Now, it can also be that. The sickness that happened to you, God mm. wants to use it to test your faith, yes, okay. something like that. Yes, mm. yes. God yes. wants to use it to teach you a lesson. Mm -hmm. Then God wants to use it to correct you. You understand? Mm. Now, those who are you do not need medical attention because you go, you are only deceiving yourself. So, you understand? So mm. this the sickness brought upon such individual by mm. God, God to teach you something. something. You understand? Not just or so we argue some yes. people will say don't ever say that God can never bring sickness upon a Christian. Right. <laughs> like yeah, uh -uh, very well. <laughs> and to be honest with you, when I started, you know, really, really dealing I've been dealing with malaria a long time. So, you know, I used to feel like ah, how can I be having malaria? I'm a believer, I'm a Christian. We I should not be having malaria and I had faith. Lo and behold, mosquito will bite me again, and I'll have malaria. So, uh, how do we balance this? Like, my question now is, when you go through this and you realize that uh, what you are dealing with is sickness that you can name, uh, this is sickness. Is there the possibility of combining both faith? I was going to say that. Uh -huh. Just don't combine it. And, yes, just combine it. Because faith if you can and, name the sickness, uh -huh. so, have faith and <laughs> seek medical <laughs> attention. Let yes. them work together. Another thing that is coming to me because you mentioned something, immediately you said it, it then it, you know, something came to my mind. What delivered me from that ignorance then was what I had in my relationship with God. As in, from my relationship with God, I heard God say to me that this thing you are dealing with is is medical. Mm. It's not. It's not the. It's not. It's not. I to be honest with you, I went to prayer mountains. <laughs> <laughs> I visited prayer mountains for healing, and I was say, Oh God, if this is thing, this thing is happening to me because of my past sins, forgive me now. So it lasted for about ten years, and I was feeling like. If this thing is in my body, it's because God has not forgiven me. Because if He has forgiven me, this you thing have left. also have left. I've given my life to Jesus. Only for me to realize later that it was something that my body was lacking, mm. and that I got that instruction from God. Mm. So, do you think that when we speak of faith, our faith should also take us to the place where we are actually saying, God, what do you have to say about this? And not just God, come and heal me, come and heal me. Come. It's about Ooh, hearing, yes. I think hearing from God. Yes, hearing from uh, yes, God. Yes, even in that situation. Feedback, you should get to feedback. know what God will yeah. actually have is, is that is that the, is that the case? Is that what you're you trying to say? Uh, you have not said too much. No. Okay. 
So we will also say that most of the time we believers mm -hmm. we think that or our thought is less be spiritually minded mm, okay. then neglecting that of the physical body mm. you understand mm. now it's not a sin that you should seek medical attention mm. you understand mm -hmm. okay but if the holy spirit informed you that this is not a medical condition mm. you understand mm. then bother. you pray and it will go away mm. you mm -hmm. understand now the knowledge of medicine as well as man itself you understand mm. you see that a uh, time came that they combine all these herbs the fruits mm -hmm. and True. bark of trees you understand supplements mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. to to uh, manufacture uh, mm -hmm. a drug for us mm. you understand mm -hmm. now you also see that okay what do you think god said i've given you the herbs the fruits you mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. now if you are saying we should focus more on the spiritual and forget about medical attention mm -hmm. then why do we take vegetables fruits you understand for, yeah. yes because those ones are for your vitality mm -hmm. we have some nutrients that like the one, you understand mm -hmm. that will help your body help your system to be alive you mm -hmm. understand now seeking medical attention is not a sin mm -hmm. as well praying is not a sin you understand mm -hmm. you have to strike the balance, the balance. between the two mm -hmm. so and that one will not be suffering mm -hmm. and the other one be... you understand mm -hmm. so you have to strike the balance and okay. hear from god as well mm -hmm. as a genuine child of god yes I've, I've heard some christians say the reason they don't take drugs or injections or seek medical help is because synthetic drugs are harmful and that when they go for that instead of helping their body damages they are actually damaging it and it, they believe it's a sin synthetic drug is the word now yes. mm. uh, what do you have to say about this that's the reason why some people are not going to feel if it's synthet synthetic it's doing more damage than uh, they help it thank you uh synthetic drugs you see that Different chemicals combined with the laboratory, mm -hmm. you understand, mm -hmm. to manufacture a drug. Now, mm -hmm. uh, every, you, anything on earth today, there is the good part of it and mm -hmm. the, yeah. the side effect of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you cannot eliminate that of drugs, mm -hmm. you, you understand. Mm -hmm. Now, if your doctor prescribes certain medications for you and you are going beyond the prescription, Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. It can actually cause another issue. Ordinary paracetamol that we are seeing can cause a serious health issue, especially mm. it can damage the liver. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm. Now, when people will be there, they will, say, they will just say, uh, Let me take three uh, tablets of paracetamol. Mm. When you are to take two, you know, yeah, now, and the day, yes, mm. what will happen? You are only causing harm to yourself. Even self medication. Mm. Yes. So that's why you are not advised to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, from that perspective, one can just go in an overdosage manner. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, return to you and say that this is the side effect of it. So mm -hmm. never will I take anything synthetic okay. uh, medication. Mm -hmm. You understand? So those are the overdose could be the issue. Yes. Or even self-medication too. Self -medication. Yes. Not actually seeking medical advice. Mm -hmm. You just think, oh, I have headache. You go and take a particular, popular, mm -hmm. uh, this is for headache. Mm -hmm. It's actually not what the drug is not supposed to fix. It's not what yes. is even wrong with you, and you are yes. using another kind of drug yes. to fix yes. what so is not. Because okay. sometimes, even ordinary, you are having pains. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Some pains are referred pain. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Now you can be. What do you mean by referred pain? I I know what it means, but mm -hmm. the, the, yeah. our viewers may not so know. So referred pain is like you are having pain in a particular like the pain of ulcer. Mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. you know that the stomach particularly is located at this side mm -hmm. you understand yes. now you see that someone is having peptic ulcer the person will be telling you that ah, i'm feeling uh, a serious pain at the back, the back. You understand? so that should be fed okay. that should tell you that the source of pain where you feel the pain is different it's different from, from, the, from the source of the, of the, the pain yes. So yes. 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 Fed. Fed. now okay. if you don't know you said ah uh, you know back it just go and buy uh, pain relief. Pain relief. Pain relief. <laughs> you understand that actually do some of those pain relief they actually trigger us. Mm, yes, yes. Now if such person uh, such person
go ahead and take that thing really. Wow, what sense? Mm, mm, can you yeah. imagine? So those are the things that we should be conscious of mm. before we take any step. I have a sorry, I have a question. Now let's quickly talk because of our time. Let's quickly touch the area of fasting because you know that mm. as Christians we fast a lot. But now m- most or some Christians ignorantly misuse themselves now after going on a lengthy fast I used to, I used to. <laughs> 40 days marathon people do it yes. 21 days marathon mm. 14 days even as even as um I, it's not little anyway mm. even three days without ah, eating yes. and drinking what anything without taking any liquid or eating any food then when they break the fast some break the fast with eba mm. some break the fast with bread bread some break the fast with rice and all manner of things mm. and even after the fast they don't think to do some things to because they must have probably lost, lost some, some electrolytes yes, and so they don't think to actually you know um, restore, how do I, yeah, restore all this lost nutrients and everything and some go on to say ah, god knows i'm fasting to him so you should so not you allow anything bad happen to oh, okay. me so what do you have to say <laughs> as regards what is the importance of restoring lost nutrients when you have gone on a lengthy fast thank you so much uh the bible said my people perish for lack of knowledge, lack. Lack of knowledge. you understand now you are fasting to god doesn't mean you shouldn't take care of your own body you mm. understand mm. now just like uh, a patient that was operated upon you understand for some time they will tell you to start from liquid food then mm. later you graduate to semi-solid mm. before solid, solid. You understand? Mm-hmm. same thing happened to when you embark on a length lengthy fast. fasting fast, yes. you understand you're not just to go and start with all those hard food solid food mm. you understand because uh little by little your system will have to adjust to make the adjustment because some of those things can actually uh, cause an ulcer to mm-hmm. you, understand? Now, you should be taking liquid food. You can start with water, you understand? You can start with a sip of tea, mm-hmm. you understand? Then, before you know, you can graduate to a kamwabi as well. Okay. Okay. Fruit. Okay. Fruit. <laughs> Thank you so much. Fruit. So, fruit as well, those uh, little, little, something that's not harsh. Uh, speaking of fruit, I think so, you still have to run away from citric food. Yes. Right? Okay, yes. 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 So, little by little, before you graduate to solid food, mm. if you go immediately to solid food, you are only harming yourself. Trouble. You understand? Mm. So, those are the things we should do. You are fasting to God, yes. God, you understand. Mm. You are fasting to Him. But mm. you shouldn't use that to harm yourself mm. now you could also you also see as important as water is most of the people mm. coming up with kidney disease mm. these days mm. as a result of low uh, fluid, body mm. fluids you mm. understand because when you take enough water what happens it's just like uh, a filter that's the work of the kidney mm. you filter the blood mm. you understand remove depths now if the kidney is not having enough water. to work on what will happen it begin to fail yeah, mm. and at the end of the day you now to uh, tell those people that okay now that such condition has happened let's go to the hospital and attend to it you said no ah god will take care of them ah. you understand okay and such person is dying 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 they will still believe in uh, the power of god we are not saying it is not important mm. yes but what we are saying is you two should what take a step mm. as you are praying because even if you come to the hospital Mm-hmm. as we attend to you we are praying for you as well mm-hmm. you understand that mm-hmm. to tell you that when you do any procedure on a patient it is your own prayer as well that this person should be well mm-hmm. you understand True. Mm-hmm. No, but no because, hospital press to lose yes the patient. so that's one of the things we pray and we also do medical uh, I approach, approach. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. so that's what we as a christian should do wow Wow, wow, wow. It is wow, so much. Wow. Mm. Okay. In fact, so the much, time so I much. just now, where did we even start? I think you are going to have to, you are going to have a part two yes, because yes. we still have tons of questions we have not touched. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, a lot of yes, but do you have anything to say quickly before we round this off? Mm. Okay, well, yes, yes. Uh, nothing much except for the fact that I want you to advise our Christian viewers. Yes, in one or two in minutes. Or two How can we take care of our health? You know, be watchful yes. and everything. Merge spiritual. We have to, yeah. yes, we have to do the spiritual things at yes. the same time. In one or two minutes. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I will say again.
Do not neglect your body that you are serving God. You mm. understand? Mm -hmm. As you are serving God, also make sure that you are in a good physical condition. Okay. You understand? Because uh, when you are fit, you will be able to pray, just like you said before. Mm. You will see that what disturbs the mind also disturbs your spirituality. Yes. That's right. Because yeah. our mode, uh, mode of communication is actually our system to the spirit and to God. Mm. That's the channel. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Yes. Then if one is altered, what happens? Mm. There is a break in that connection. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? So mm. as a Christian, we should take care of our body. Mm. Mm. Though we know the condition of the country, but mm. that doesn't stop you that if you experience any difficulty in your system, mm -hmm. Go out there, seek for medical help. Yeah. You understand? Through investigation, they will be able to tell you, okay, this is what we are right at, and this is what we should do. Mm. As you continue in prayer, mm. because yeah. illness sometimes can be something uh, disturbing. Mm. You understand? Mm. When you fall ill, pray, mm. and as well seek medical mm. attention, attention, and as okay. well make sure you what eat good food mm. do you understand so mm. those things at the end of the day you see that it will help yeah. us and uh, this spirituality we are talking about we, we work well begin to exactly it, you understand? The, way I, the way i feel like summarizing this entire thing for me mm. don't give to the body the work of the spirit don't give to the spirit the work oh. of the body in fact yeah. finito <laughs> finito <laughs> all right guys it has been an interesting insightful educative what what have you on today's program i'm so happy that we finally touched this particular topic we've had so many things as that christians have been saying mm. some people we've had pregnant women die with their babies because some people said oh our no, our no, own cesarean in our session. own this thing oh, we believe that no person mm. should go through cesarean session and then you have the pregnant woman die yeah. with the baby you're losing two lives just because of ignorance and many other issues people that are supposed to go through uh, undergo a particular surgery operation they did not do that because they have this particular belief mm -hmm. and all these things just like we have heard are just a result of ignorance and we you know we, we are finally touching this so that all we can put god can help mm -hmm. us to put the stuff to give us understanding as to how these things work just like i said we're going to have our nurse again mm -hmm. here on the program to continue to you know to, con to talk to us more about this as we have not even touched majority yes, of so our questions office. personally i enjoyed today's program and i'm yeah, sure you are you enjoyed and you have learned one or two things through the wisdom of god please take care of your health go for um, your checkup when necessary when you feel funny please don't just go and take any any kind of drug you could be damaging yourself the more mm -hmm. go out seek medical help seek medical advice eat good food like he already said take fruit so people can go months without tasting watermelon without eating any kind i don't know how you are living no. but please <laughs> take fruit help yourself so that you can live longer and that spiritual work that you are doing your body can help you to do it because we've heard of some pastors dying very very young dying untimely and not fulfilling that purpose that they were actually running to fulfill because at the, the end of the day because the body could not carry it any longer it's just it's just foolishness mm. i'm sorry to say but it's just foolishness because there is no wisdom in that so if you want to fulfill that purpose that we are fasting 14 days marathon for let's know how to strike a balance so that we can actually fulfill that purpose so that when we get everyone's gate they will not say that the purpose, the purpose you did fulfill it because you did not eat well and you did not take something as simple as eating well and taking the right medications all right so we'll see you again next week sunday i remain bisola as to say and i remain victor Adero, thank you so much thank for joining so us much. thank you so I much for the insights god bless you all right guys see you next week have a lovely weekend. Have a lovely week. <laughs> <laughs>